Hello and welcome. I am the student tie dip and shoe guy, and this is I don't know what, but I will by the time it is uploaded. I'm not quite sure which playlist this will be going on. I am very not sure as to how this review is going to go. I've been putting off doing it for probably at least two years. Not to say that this product has been sitting here for two years. It has not. It's been acquired very recently. Uh, whether it needs to be within date or not is sort of anybody's guess, and I'm not even sure it will really matter in the end. Uh, so this is my review of Afghan Black Snuff. This is billed, at least, as a dipping tobacco product. Um, from what I have read, not recently, but what I have read is people put this in their lower lip, and I believe you do spit with it. Even if you were not to spit with it, or you were not supposed to, trust me when I tell you, I will be spitting with this. It is supposedly very strong, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to find when I open this little box. So we're going to take it over to the desk and find out firsthand. And here we are. So it's a little light cardboard box, all right? And it is sealed with a piece of scotch tape or maybe some very thin packaging tape. This is a product or being packaged and shipped out by, as soon as I can find it, out of India. All right, and that is one of their nasal snuff manufacturers. It's the, it's the actual company name of the people that make Six Photo. All right. Then you have that, which is trademarked for reasons that are quite beyond me. You have the Six Photo. Did I just have that... Okay, uh, there's the English, six photo, and no, no, they have it that way. Okay, okay, a little inconsistency there, but no big deal. So it is 50 grams. Uh, I'm guessing this is fairly moist. It feels heavy, but really it's almost smaller dimensions than a 34.02 gram of dip. All right, so, oh, and then you have that on the other side. Now, from what I have been able, intelligence-wise, to gather, although this is made, like, in packaging, packaged, and shipped out from Six Photo in India, the product may or may not be actually coming across the border through Pakistan out of Afghanistan. So, you know, this is one of those deals like, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know about this at all. Um, we are going to try to get into this without absolutely destroying the packaging. I need the packaging to prove that I actually did this. What do we look? Oh, it's a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, boy. That awkward moment when you realize you've just accidentally bought 50 grams of Afghani black tar heroin. <laughs> wow. Okay, so it's like a very small plug. And it is as hard as a rock. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, okay, let's get it out of here, I guess. Mm. Oh, man, this thing is like rock solid. Holy crap. 
Good grief. That's how hard that is. All right, so I guess I'm going to have to... Holy goodness. Oh, boy. And it's sort of green on the inside, which is... Oh, wow. Okay, let me break a little bit more off so you guys can see what I'm actually pinching off of. This stuff, it, it's like a mud brick, like a really hard mud brick. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is not exactly what I was hoping for. Wow, <laughs> this isn't anything what I'd normally on any given day be hoping for. But e even by my lowest expectations, this is not what I was expecting. Uh, I was expecting some sort of shredded block. Let's take this back up top. This is one of those deals where, like, all of a sudden... Kayak is not seeming that bad. It's, it's like one of those moments. Um, okay. Uh, I'm... I'm uh, I don't even know how to get this in my lip, to tell you the truth. You know what? I'm going to... Th this is very... I, I thought I was going to be able to pinch this stuff, but that's not happening. Uh, we are going to go with a spoonful of it in the lower lip because I can't, it's so hard I can't even use the pearls maker on it. It's green. Oh my God, this stuff is like, oh, this, was, this is why I was putting this off for so long because I knew, part of me knew. It feels like a bunch of small rocks in my mouth, in my lip. Mm. It's got no real smell to it. It feels like a bunch, you know what it feels like? It feels like I just packed my lower lip with broken auto glass. That's what it sort of feels like. I'm not really... Maybe you're supposed to grind it down, maybe? Like into a powder? I'm going to pause this and wait for the flavor to develop. Because that's a good idea. <laughs> Back in a moment. Okay, so I've been sitting here for a few minutes now. It's starting to soften up. There's some sort of flavor coming through that's nondescript, but it's not bad. It's softening up in the mouth. And I'm feeling a very weird... I would normally say it was contact burn, like nicotine, but it's not the normal contact burn. It's not burn. It's almost like a cooling tingle. But this product has no menthol or anything else. It's not wintergreen. Your guess is as good as mine as to what it tastes and smells like. Because I've been sitting here and... 
but I'm also at the same time, although it doesn't seem to be doing anything, I'm also starting to feel myself get like, so I, it, it's weird. Uh, I, I'm wondering now I got this product in, it's probably been sitting here for about five weeks. And normally I'd say this isn't supposed to be like this, but seeing this in person and the packaging and how it was packaged, look at this. It's like a little Ziploc bag, but like it's a little Ziploc bag that hasn't been made particularly for this product. It's like these little Ziploc bags, they get split up. They go to two places. Uh, they go to ship out Afghan black snuff. I almost said heroin, black snuff, or the other place the bag company sends to is a manufacturing company in China that makes cheap screws. Like, it's like, what the hell is going on here? It's staying together. I'm feeling something in my tongue now with the byproduct, though. I have a feeling this is a real slow build, but when it gets going, if I have it in my mouth still at that point, um, it's going to really get going. It's just very, very strange. It's just the whole, it's not that it's sketchy, like, I'm knocking the shake off. Look at this thing. I mean, I carved suit and tie dip and shoe guy into <laughs> And having seen all this, I still put it in my mouth. It's all right. I mean, there's nothing really wrong about it, except for, like, the optics are absolutely horrific. Like, apocalyptic. Like, the world ends. We all end up doing this stuff. Um... It's expensive. Now, I got this through Mr. Snuff, uh, which is out of the Isle of Man in the Irish Sea in between Britain and Ireland, which, you know, there's a shipping cost and whatnot, but this stuff is expensive, period. Uh, I believe this block is about Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling aspects of nicotine, but I'm not feeling like a lot of nicotine, but I'm not feeling the normal contact thing. So it's sort of like, it's not adding up in my mind. Like, okay, I feel like I have a lot of nicotine going on, but what I'm feeling in my mouth doesn't match up to that. Flavor, still real nondescript. I mean, anything that looks that scary, you would think would, you know, some god awful worst case scenario flavor, but really no, it's just, okay. Um, maybe, and it, it could very well be, and I may even look into it. Maybe this stuff is supposed to be ground down and then put in. Uh, you know, I, I really don't know. I don't know how I, I was a little bit thrown off by the bag and whatnot. I'm, I'm chopping this stuff up on a paper towel. The longer it sits out, the more green it gets. That's got me a little disturbed. Anyway, okay, well, I don't think it is the nicotine hit that most people would be looking for although it does have it. Uh, it it doesn't present the way most people want it it is starting to protect produce a lot of saliva though I am noticing that um, flavor wise it's it's not anything really I, I not that I can tell I mean there's something there but it's not bad it's not good it's just sort of like oh okay um, Smell, again, I have to like shake off 
there's something there again. Not good, not bad, just, okay. Um, in the mouth, I, it, it's not overly comfortable at first, breaking it down the way I did. I did that so I could get it onto a spoon easily without having to break up the whole block. Uh, I think if you ground it down more, it would be a little bit better. Even when it softens up, some of the shards will poke and whatnot. Nothing out of control, but, you know. I may very well look into this more and see how this is properly done overseas uh, on some night that I'm feeling brave. Tonight is not that night. Um... All in all, I mean, I can't see this really checking the boxes for many people unless you're the type of person that you want to try everything once. That's your thing. That That's your dig, you know. That's what I do. I try everything once. In that case, it's at MrSnuff.com. I am not affiliated in any way. But be warned, it is like 16 bucks. Regular price over there. I am the Suntai Dip and Shoe Guy. I do thank you for watching. As always, do take care of yourselves, and God bless.